Hey, what's going on? This is Kext Next, and today I'm going to give you a quick tip uh, on how to put things up behind or above your actor or the tree line without having to actually mask them out or roto them out using Luminance Map. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be creating. All right, it's pretty corny, I know, but let's go ahead and get started. So we wanna take our footage layer and of course trim it. And then we wanna go ahead and just activate the castle. What we're actually gonna do is duplicate our footage layer and we wanna go ahead and apply a tint effect to our duplicated footage layer and also a levels effect. And so now we have this black and white image and levels isn't doing anything yet, but we're about to go ham on it. So what we wanna do is just adjust the settings of levels so that our sky is all white and our foreground is all black. All right, so now that we have this levels effect, we can go ahead and add whatever object we're gonna put in the sky. In my case, it's gonna be a castle. So now you just wanna go ahead and mask your object out. You can go as detailed or as not detailed as you want, but I would recommend going pretty detailed if you're going to be doing light effects on whatever your object is, because if you don't, it's gonna end up looking something kind of like this, and you don't want that. All right, so now that we've done that, we wanna rename our wonky looking footage Matt, just to keep stuff organized. And and we want to go ahead and drag our object under the mat just like that and we want to go to our object and set the track mat to luma mat all right so we can already see what that's doing if we move our object around you can see it's it's already below our foreground right which is incredible um but there's this weird gray border around it and that's what's going to happen if your black and white image is too harsh so if we go back to our mat layer and we go to the levels effect we can go and adjust some of these settings and we can give it in my case I, it's in the sky so if I adjust our input white uh, I can give it a little bit of, uh, of a haze of a fog which I think it looks pretty nice all right so already that looks pretty good if you're just looking at one frame but let's go ahead and scroll through our video and we can see it's not staying where it needs to be so let's go ahead and fix that if we go to our original footage layer and we go to the tracker panel we can hit track motion um, and we want to go to this little track point and we want to track uh, the area where our object is going to be near. So in my case, it's gonna be the tree line. And we're gonna select rotation and scale so we get another track point and it gives us all the values we need. We just wanna pick out some things that are trackable and that are contrasty against the background. And also we wanna create a new null object and we'll call it track. And in over here in the tracker panel, we wanna set the target to our null object, hit okay and we just want to track the footage backwards and forwards. All right, now that we have that, we want to hit apply and hit okay. So now we have our uh, little null object here with all of our tracking data, and that's what we want. And if we go on the timeline and find a place where we want our object to stay, we can go ahead and just click our object and parent it to our track null. And now it stays with our footage. And if you want to add more objects, you can just duplicate your mat layer, move it above the next object that you want to add into your scene, and set the track mat to luma mat on your object. And if it looks a little bit wonky like mine does, you can go ahead and just adjust some of the mat settings to add back some opacity, and also parent it to your null. And now, you know, anything that we put in our scene is gonna stay tracked to the camera. And you can really put anything that you want in your scene, a castle, some text, an empty footage layer, I don't know, whatever you want. I hope you go out and make something really cool with this. If you do, comment down below and I'll check it out. Leave a like, please subscribe to my channel. I need subscribers. Uh, I'm Kext Next, and I will see you next time for another tutorial.